Hello, everybody. This is Pahamar. And this is Darwell. And this is episode 21. 21? Awesome. Yeah, we are awesome. Yeah. yeah. Hey, I just made a Runic Matrix. I found a sneaky way to make it that only cost me one V of each type. Nice. I've done yeah, a little bit I'm more building. Excited about that discovery. Can you guess what I built? Uh, I cannot. It's not just leaping out at you? Is it a house? I may have done some more work on the house. I see that. You have, like, a rather large house there. We have a tendency of kind of exploding all over the place, so I figured we needed a lot of room. So, why don't I go upstairs and show viewers of my side. Hey, where did this glowstone go, and why is there a hole in the ground? What did you do, Dad? These are all valid questions. What did you do? Uh, I actually did nothing. That is lies that and slander. Uh, I don't think you can prove that. Okay, let's see. Well, we have another second. I want to see, the, see the thing, too, but I want to finish what I'm doing real quick. Well, it's, I mean, it's, it's okay. You might think it's cool. Yeah. I'm sure I will. I want to see it. I'm about to uh, activate the runic matrix if you want to watch. Actually, I'm not sure if I am. I may be. I'm not sure. Okay, I'm watching. Yeah, it may not work. I don't think I have enough B for it. Unless it's been made cheaper. Yeah, it's not. I really have to place down my water jar. I did complete some quests, by the way, but let's let's look at your house and then we'll complete quests. Because I got yelled at for not showing the uh, barn last time. Oh, you did? I did. People are like, Bob made this awesome barn and you didn't show it. You're a bad friend. Okay, so here's our uh, little second story patio. Little balcony. Ooh, fancy. Here's our second story with lots of windows and such. I like so it. here you get a good view of the platform and stuff. So this is where I was watching you. And then in the basement, yeah, I basically. did a little bit more building up of uh, some walls and stuff to differentiate different places. Because eventually I'm going to move like the um, like our sifter setup and everything. I'll move it downstairs and put it closer to the AE system so the outputs automatically get pulled in. Nice. Same as I'll uh, probably the second story there. Either the second story or in the basement. I don't know. What do you think is where we'll put the like storage doors and stuff? The basement might be near cool. the walls of making things look nice. Okay, well, you're just the most helpful person ever. Yeah, you should know that by now. I see you condensed down the uh, inscribers. I see the uh, in advanced inscribers you hated so much you now like. Never said I hated them. I just, like, you were messing with them while I was in the middle of building something. But no, they're nice. Mostly because they have, like, more acceleration cord slots, so you can, they're really fast. Yeah, so. um, and we also have auto crafting for all types of inscribers now. So like, you should be able to auto craft all the different types of processors and whatnot that you would need. Yeah, I, I actually just added two more uh, ME drive blocks, and uh, I made a bunch of more drives right. as well. So, so uh, I figure those are always good to have. Yeah, I've been poking around at some uh, thong crafting stuff off camera nice. while we've been. Uh, between episodes, if you want to look, um, I've got a couple things done. Well, I can see you have crystals. Yeah, they kind of help with research. I'm actually like low on some of the primal research points, like air and water. Like a lot of them I have a lot of, but then there's a ton that I don't have a lot of. So I'm going to have to get a deconstruction table very soon. Um, let's see what the quest book has in store for us. We have five quests completed. I don't know where, but some of them are thong craft, some of them are not. Uh, mob, hunter. mob hunter. Oh yeah, because in building that there were some spots that mobs spawned. So, zombies. Well, I'll let you claim those rewards. I'm gonna claim the rewards for what I just did. So I got some oh. jar labels. Oh. So this one's funny. The slime ball one. It yeah. wasn't. Oh wait, hey, there actually was another way to make slime balls. I made slime balls by like creating some kind of weird gooey leather and smelting it. But apparently, if you take cool. a barrel of water and you right click it with a bucket of milk, you'll get slime. Nice. Anyway, we got a slimy sapling from that. Very cool. I like I like the follow up quest. Slime slaying. Kill slimes. <laughs> spider slaughter. Kill spiders. 
I approve of all these actions. Insufficient B. I really need to do something about that. Oh, more insufficient B. Still insufficient B. All right. I'm, I'm going to place <laughs> down my You get frustrated? Advisor. A little bit. I didn't want to have to do this, but I think I have to do this. Oh, no. The thing you didn't want to do, you have to do. La. I don't know why I said it like that. Because you're you. I am a bit odd. I'm going to work on power grid quests because I've done a lot of creative building lately, and I'm sure people would like to actually see like some other stuff. Okay. So dynamic power. Make a steam dynamo. All right, I'm gonna have to try and get the gold wands that I want because I'm quickly getting to the point where I'm gonna have a problem. Okay, that's a steam dynamo and dynamo upgrade, transmission coil ducting and secondary transmission coil. I just did a bad thing, and I'm just going to really hope that it works out. Oh, what did you do? Well, because I didn't have a better wand, and, like, I couldn't craft a better wand until I drained the V out of this node, I had to drain the V out of the node. Like, I had no option. That's why I was really trying to avoid placing down that node, because I didn't want to drain it completely, because it's a bad thing when you do that. But I had no other option. So we're just going to have to cross our fingers that everything works out for the best. You make me so worried. Oh, I'm a little worried too, but don't worry. We'll figure it out. Will we? Will we? Yeah, I mean, there's things that can be done and such. It's dangerous, but I think it's possible. Okay, so I just finished Dynamic Power, which was make a Steam Dynamo and some upgrades, and then one of the follow-up nice. quests was Eulorium, which is just smelt a Eulorium ingot, which gets us 16 Yellowite ore. Very nice. And then, oh, all I have to make to finish the reactor one, because I built all the components for a reactor. I did that right. off-camera, because it's just crafting. All I need to do is make a reactor red net port, and we will get a reward bag. Very nice. I just completed a quest. Nice. What did you do? Ah, uh, just a simple thumbcraft crafting quest. So let's come back in a minute while I wait for this node to recharge, and we'll check on some stuff. And but I'm I got a bag. What I'm gonna do next. What? I got a greater reward bag. Okay, go ahead. And it has ender lily seeds, which is useless to us with those ender weeds. I know. All right, let's come right back. Okay, okay. Okay. All right, Pahamar, terrible things have happened. You broke everything, and now we have to restart the entire map. Maybe. Hey, I didn't get any things out of that. Did you break a node? Oh. Yeah. It was pretty much shot. It, it started with six things on it, and, all, and four out of the six were already lost. So, bad things happened. There's a way to craft a node. I'm going to work on it. Ouch. Don't That's your punishment. Ouch. Dirt to the head. Um, there's a way to craft nodes. I'm just working on getting that research. Okay. I need more orum. I have been I slowly things. compacting the stuff we have out on the ground here into our basement and into the AE system. Okay. Eventually I'll get these, um, smelteries and stuff set up so that it uh, imports directly into the AE system. Um, yes. so between, well, during the break, I taught the AE system how to make the various machine frames. Okay. Uh, because we need those for the Ender Tank quest, so I figured it's a nice thing to have. So let's see cool. what else I was going to do. Uh, I was going to keep working in Power Grid, so we did Eulorium, we did Reactor Power, that unlocked a quest somewhere else. I wish it would tell you where it unlocked a quest. Yeah, that would be nice. I bet you it's an Applied Engineering. No, it's not. That's odd. 
All right, so that's a lot of things that need to be done. Okay, well, I'm going to continue with power. So we've already made the leadstone flux ducts, so now I need to make a red net energy cable. Cool. That should be pretty easy to make. I need a wand with a little bit more stuff on it. Yeah. I might need to get to the point where I can fly, and then I can go, like under the world and find actual nodes to charge up my wands. Uh, what do we need to fly again? Like, we don't have angel wings, it's the Thomcraft flight, isn't it? There's or, a couple there jetpacks? We did jetpacks last time. We, we can make angel wings. We just need another star. Uh, we do have jetpacks. Do I we? I could work on some jetpacks. We do have jetpacks. Um, I could work on those. That's oh, all right. cool. I'll There's a jet it. plate. Oh. It looks like it's a... Well, yeah, they're all chests, but... Yeah, if you were to make us some uh, some jetpacks, that'd be nice. Okay, I could probably work on that. Get us to armored resonant jetpacks. Armored resonant jetpacks? Uh, yep. I don't know yep. about that one. Yep, do it. We'll see. Aw, oh, baby. Um, yes. Power storage, okay, that one's a leadstone energy cell. Easy, power cable, red net energy cable. Done. Ooh, infinite power transport. Flux ducts transmit different amounts of RF depending on their tier. The top tier flux ducts can transfer as much energy as you can generate. Ooh, a cryo-stabilized flux duct. That sounds expensive. It does. Oh, cryo-stabilized flux ducts? Yes, those are expensive to make. I'm going to teach the A system how to make most things related to jetpacks. That's a sound investment. Yes. Just out of curiosity, does this require the previous tier? It does. Yes. All right, so. Where's my interface terminal that I had? It's probably upstairs. It seems like something you would do. You know, this cryo-stabilized flux duct, not going to be that hard to make. Uh, you just need blizzes. No, you don't. Unless they change the recipe, you do. No, there's no. destabilized redstone plus a snowball will actually get you blizz powder. Nice. Yeah, so I'm just cooking up some blizz powder now. 
because you were so nice and made that glacial precipitator before. I do aim to please. So that'll get us some bubbles powder. See, so yeah, I was actually going to need gel cryothium uh, for the reactor, anyways. Nice. So let's see, that's four. And I think I only need one for this. No, I need two. Doo -doo -doo. Cooking it up. Nice. There we go, that is one cryo stabilized flux duck. So that gets us five. Yeah, that's awesome. Infinite power transfer. Yes, it is. Infinite RF protect. Ooh, let's see. Water power by plant fuel and power conversion. A mana flux field. Want to power your whole factory on flowers? You can! Just send mana through a mana flux field. It will convert the mana to RF, which can be transported, stored, and used in any normal fashion. Gets us a mana yeah. distributor. Nice. Uh, we probably don't want to use that. No, but it's a quest. Let's see what it takes to make. Oh, that's oh, easy. It's not hard. It's easy. Except I need some living rock. So let me go get some. All right, Bob. I've almost got you a hardened... Jetpack, done. Uh, do we have an, anything to charge up RF items? Uh, there should be one in the AE system. I think I had to make a um, a charging pad or whatever it is, the infuser. Energetic infuser? Yeah, I think I had to make one of those. Well done, sir. I'm proud of you. I'm going to pop it upstairs by the rest of our machines and such. I'm assuming you already grabbed it. Yes. Okay. What I'm going to also do is get us some wireless access to our AE system. I was wondering about that, but don't we need more power? Not really. Okay, I thought it took a lot of power. Eh. You're eh. Thanks. Eh. eh. Okay, hardened jetpack. Press U while wearing to open GUI, huh? That's neat. You can take that one if you want, by. I'm letting it charge. Yeah, once it's charged, I mean. I'll take the second one. I only went up to the hardened level. I'll work on the Electrum one later, but for now, let's just see if this is good enough. And then I can fly around under the world and see if I can find some more nodes. I'm assuming there'll be some world genning down there. If not, then we're in a lot of Thalmcrafty trouble. Working well? Appears to be. Nice. Uh, I just want to check. Inventory, journey map, miscellaneous. Activate hover harness. It's not the fastest thing in the world, but... Okay, that is power conversion done. Let's see. Next, uh, steam turbine. All right, I'm going over the edge. Nobody. Oh goodness. I know, right? Don't don't kill yourself. Uh, I'm not gonna promise. 
Oh, you used my Steam Dynamo. I, yeah? Was, were you, did you have plans for that? Yeah, I actually yeah. made it in a turbine recipe. Oh, well, then you're going to have to make a new one. They're not that hard to make. Ugh. All right, uh, I need to fly around down here for a few minutes, and it might be a little boring, so unless you're doing anything interesting. I have to go melt down some uh, ingots. Okay, let's come back in a minute then while I look around. Okie doke. All right, bye. Direwolf. Bye, Mar. Are we both in the nether? We are. I decided to look around here. I flew around underneath our base for a bit, and guess what I found? Nothing. Nothing. A whole lot of nothing. I was flying around looking for different uh, ores and stuff here, and I happened to find a nether fortress. So I'm just nice. kind of exploring around. I found a couple nodes. I'm going to try teleporting them back to the overworld. You can do that. Yeah. I'm going to try, because I've already done blood magic, so I should be able to. I only found a couple nodes, but the fact that I found any means that they're spawning, which is good. It feels weird back walking around bag, in this nether fortress and there's like bits of it that have been blown away by an explosion. Yeah. It's like, what happened here? What's your story, nether fortress? Well, so far it's a few chests, but that's about it. Yeah. Nothing terribly exciting. Yeah, nether fortresses are a little boring. And here I am, like, totally lost. That's what you get when you don't set a waypoint. I did set a waypoint. I'm still lost. This nether fortress is very large, however. Yeah. I'm trying to see if I can find a blaze spawner. Oh, that would be nice. Because I think with my silk touch pickaxe, I would actually be able to harvest it. Uh, um, maybe? I actually don't know the answer to that question. You are supposed to be the knower of everything. I'm supposed to be, but you know what? I'm not. Whoa. I know, my, my immersion. Mechanic. You know why, though? Because that's a vanilla mechanic. I don't understand those complicated things. Well, there's a lot of things you don't understand. That's true. I won't lie. That is absolutely true. I'm going to go make the teleposer from Blood Magic and see if I can telepose nodes back to our base, because that would be awesome. Okay. I'm getting a bit low on jetpack energy, so I might be heading back. It's probably not a bad idea. If someone had made me a better one, it wouldn't be such an issue, but... Oh, cry about it. <laughs> That's right, I hear Play you. Play spawner. Later. Yeah? Because of that lovely amulet you made me that makes me immune to fire damage. Ah, it was nice of me, wasn't it? Yeah, you, you did that. Ooh, my sword got an upgrade. Very nice. I've got Darwin Point's head. Did I mention I died? Uh, you had. And I watched and I laughed. Yeah. A wisp found me as I was flying around. So, I did not get a spawner when I broke the spawner, but I got an ember heart with warping one. Sounds cool. And only one blaze rod. So maybe I shouldn't have broken that. Maybe I should have just farmed them. Fair enough. Ooh, but I do see blazes on my map. I should have probably looked there. So I'm going to try for a teleposer. So I need two of these. Teleposition, focus, ender pearl. Wither skeletons. Yeah. And my sword has beheading on it. Oh, nice. I'm like fancy now. Still no blaze rods from those guys. And a wisp, of course, there's a wisp. Ooh, 
Wisp is dead. Oh no, Thumbcraft, Thumbcraft Bat. You're dead too. You're dead, and you're dead. <laughs> Haven't been there. Yeah, kind of. The weather skeleton that was wearing rubber boots is gone, though. You are having an unusual experience. This is a very interesting trip to the nether. Ooh, I got uncommon treasure. Yeah. Gold coins. Cool. Are they always gold coins? Uh, there's sometimes other things in there, but I've never really seen anything major. All right, I should be able to take this teleposer back now and go collect a node. There's the guy with the boots. Ow. That actually really hurt me. That got me down to three hearts. You gotta be careful there, buddy. And I did not get a wither head. This jetpack is nice, but you know what else it is? What? A little slow. It is. I don't know if it gets faster if we upgrade it. You should find out. I am not the maker of jetpacks. Clearly. Oh, are you getting sassamard? Oh, what up? I'm gonna go after node one, because I think that's the best one to get. And if this works, then I'll be very happy, because it'll make things a little bit less painful for me. I've got a guest who needs to die. Oh, what's up? What achievement you get? Gender. The that's one like time Direwolf had some game. skill. Oh, snap, you heard me. Yep. That's like one of my favorite achievements, by the way. Let's get home. Nice. I'm only three uh, three quarters of a kilometer away. Fair enough. I think I just teleported a node back to our base. Nice. nice. Yeah, I'm pretty pleased about that progress. There might be nodes in the overworld. I just didn't see anywhere, anywhere, and any anywhere. So. There is a way to craft them, um, which I researched, but it's going to require a little bit more effort before I can get to that point. But soon I should be able to actually craft them. I'm gonna remove, or I'm gonna move the remaining nodes off camera because it's a long back and forth trip. Okay. Yeah, no, like I have to, unfortunately, like once I move it, I have to go back and like rearrange things on this end. Like, so I have to fly back and forth a lot. It's gonna be a lot of effort. You have to move it, move it. Um, if you wanna put it that way, like I wouldn't say that, but if you wanna say it, I won't object to you saying it. So if I'm saying that you're going to move it, move it, you're going to move it? Correct. Nice. Node stabilized. Okay. Um, so I've got covered what I wanted to cover for the time being. Bahamar, if you would like to come back in a minute. I think that's a good plan because I'm just basically flying back. Okay. All right, guys, we're back. Yeah, we are. Um, I found another node, and it's actually a really good one. It's got two of the aspects that I didn't get from my last node. Actually, no, wait, it only has one of them. That's all right. I know where there's one that has the other one I need. Uh, unfortunately, though, I believe it is wrapping up point. It does appear to be that time. 
I'm dragging a huge pile of netherrack behind me. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. But I got some. I needed netherrack actually because I need it for uh, nether brick. Although I also got a bunch of nether brick on account of unexpectedly finding a uh, nether fortress. Nice. I see fire bats. And I run from them vigorously. Come here, ghast. Do we need ghast ears? Uh, no. I think we're good. I'm running. Running away! You do that. All right, so I think we need to wrap up. What I'm going to do between this episode and next, guys, is uh, find a few more um, decent aura nodes in the nether here and uh, just get a few back at our base so that I have enough to work off of. And then we can get more into Thalmcraft and complete some of these like massive number of Thalmcraft quests. Like I think no quest objectives thus far have been anywhere near as many as Thalmcraft has. Thalmcraft is a bit insane. Yeah, no, there's, there's a lot of stuff to do there. And luckily now that I have my awesome wand, I won't drain the last aspect out of anything. So yay for that. Woohoo! I know, right? You're not going to do the thing. I'm not going to break it again. Because you're a noob. I'm a noon? Noob. Okay, I thought you said I was a noon. Yes, you are a time of day. I, you know, I'm just saying what you said. And I think everyone knows what I said. I'm going to go review the footage. By the way, you put your head at the door. Yeah. You know that blocks us from going in the door with the sash on? That sounds like a problem that you're having. That sounds like a problem with your face. Literally, oh. it's your face causing the problem. What's up? All right. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to probably space these out a little bit more because I'm not going to want them to merge. So, I mean, because it'll be easy to move them once they're here, I'll do that. Ooh, we need plastic. Ew. All right. So back to the nether for me. We will see you guys next episode when we have uh, a couple more nodes accomplished and Sounds moved back to the base. Sounds good. All right, guys. Take it easy. Bye-bye.